My name is Bianca and I work as an education officer for the London Fire Brigade. As part of the education team, we visit schools and talk to children about fire safety. Now today I'm going to talk to you guys all about something called PDE. Now PDE stands for Prevention, Detection and Escape and these three words may one day save your life. In this session we're going to focus on detection. In this short presentation we're going to speak about how detecting a fire or the possibility of a fire as early as possible can keep you and your family safe. Now the key to early detection is having one of these. Do we all know what this is? That's right, it's a smoke alarm and we should all have one of these in our homes. The purpose of these are to detect the presence of smoke in the air. So these are vital for giving us an early warning that something is not right in our homes and we need to take action and leave the house. We should all have these in our homes, at least one on every level or in any room where a fire could start. Did you know that most fires happen between the hours of 10pm and 6am when a lot of people are sleeping? Now when you go to sleep, most of your senses go to sleep too, apart from your hearing which stays switched on. Which means that if the smoke alarm was to sound, you would wake up and be warned there is a problem. They should always be fixed to the ceiling because the first thing that comes from a fire is smoke and smoke is a hot gas so it rises up. Now at the presence of smoke in the air, the smoke alarm will start to beep very loud piercing beep that would give you and your family the warning you need to get out of the house. Now there are some places where it's not the best idea to have a smoke alarm. For example, the bathroom. The steam from the bath or the shower could set the smoke alarm off. Another place is the kitchen. Whose smoke alarm has gone off when the adults have burnt the cooking? Me too, it's very annoying. So it's better to have a heat alarm in the kitchen. This is Aisha. Aisha is hearing impaired and wears a hearing aid. She takes these out at night to go to bed, meaning that if there was a fire in the home and her smoke alarm was beeping, Aisha would not be able to hear. What we do for people like her is fit a smoke alarm in the form of a pad, which goes underneath her pillow and vibrates when there is smoke in the air. Aisha also has a flashing light, which is fitted to her ceiling and flashes when it detects smoke. Together, these special smoke alarms mean that everyone in your home is get an early warning and be able to escape safely. Now, we should all be testing our smoke alarms regularly to see if they are working. Your adults can do this by pressing the test button in the middle. If there is no sound like this, it's a possibility your battery is mainly changing or your smoke alarm is faulty and it needs to be replaced straight away. Smoke alarms cost between five and 10 pounds and can be bought from most DIY or home stores or even major supermarkets. Alternatively, you can get them from the London Fire Brigade. I'm going to test my smoke alarm again. This is what your smoke alarm should sound like when it's in working order. Smoke alarms do need to be tested once a month by your adults. Now, if you're not sure where to get your smoke alarms or how to fit them properly, you can get something called a home fire safety visit from the London Fire Brigade. Home fire safety visits are a free service for anyone who lives in London who needs new or replacement smoke alarms. They are all fitted for free by firefighters from your local fire station. Working smoke alarms save lives. Now remember, the most important and safest thing for your grown-ups at home is to take action and remove risk to prevent a fire from happening in the first place. This is covered in another video called Prevention. But accidents do happen and having a working smoke alarm like this will give you the warning you need to be able to get out safely. So this is your challenge, why don't you and the people you live with check your homes and ceilings to see if you have working smoke alarms on every level of your home. Remember, working smoke alarms save lives.